the transatlantic slave trade began around the mid-15th century when Portuguese interests in Africa moved away from the fabled deposits of gold to a much more readily available commodity, slaves. Expanding Europe, empires in the New World lacked one major resource, a workforce. In most cases, the indigenous people had pro proved unreliable. Most of them were dying from diseases brought over from Europe, and Europeans were unsuited to the climate and suffering under tropical diseases. Africans, on the other hand, were excellent workers. They had often experience in, of agriculture, keeping, and cattle. They were used to tropical climate, resistant to tropical diseases, and they could be worked very hard on plantations or mines. How did it end? An opposition was formed against the slave trade, and laws were created to stop the trade. The participants in the African slave trade were the Africans, Europeans, Americans, and Portuguese. The Africans would capture enemy tribes and sell them to the Europeans who would buy the Africans and would transport them to other countries to be resold. When the Europeans discovered Africa, they began to migrate and settle. They used most of the land to produce wine and sugar. They also captured natives and used them as slaves. They eventually started using Africa as a naval base and to trade with the Portuguese people. The Atlantic slave trade left a legacy of racism. Thank you for watching.